Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in again. Um, I wanted to do a video today talking about some theory. So it's not going to be a song today, it's just going to be some theory talk. So, Brendan, thank you so much for sending me this Ibanez uh, Eastwood Bob Weir special guitar to me. I mean, it's pretty nice. The one that Bob used in 76, kind of designed that same way with the four humbuckers on the bottom and the natural finish. So it's really nice. So thank you so much, man. I couldn't be more grateful. So today I wanted to talk about kind of why Bob chooses the way he does when he chooses legs. I'm going to point this down. So my first thought when it comes to mind is, so when Jerry goes in bird song, starts out the song. That lick Jerry does is six, I'm sorry, you're on E. Seven, six, five on the B string. You're on the fifth fret, but the, the note in the key is seven, because it's D. And the whole key of it is mixolydian. So you're gonna flat the seven. So seven, six, five. And right after that, Bob goes. Just a different lick right behind him to answer him. For Jerry goes seven, six, five. Bob goes four, three, two, three. He kind of finishes the line. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Seven, six, five. So, as you can see, it's kind of like an answer lick right there. He's choosing the slot that Jerry didn't choose. Jerry got the top, seven, six, five. I'm going to finish it with four, three, two in his own little way, you know, right after right after Jerry's lick. This is when they start doing answer licks, Bob answers licks. He does do times where he makes it the same time as Jerry doing a lick. I'll get to that here in a second, but now I'm just working with answer licks. So that's one, you know, and I have lessons on these songs. You can learn all these licks. I just kind of want to go through it very briefly so you can see what I'm talking about in the sense of why Bob chooses these. So that's one. Another one that comes right to mind is Wharf Rat. When they go, live the life I should. Jerry goes, Bob answers with, That's another answer lick right there, you know? It's kind of, Jerry says, what's up? Bob says, I'll get up and fly away. In his own little way. It's so nice. It's kind of like his response to Jerry, you know? So I call these answer licks. He's answering Jerry's lick. When Jerry does a lick, he comes right back with his, with his answer. Those are the two that come right off the bat with the answer licks. There's tons of them. There's you could go through tons. I could I could have a whole hour video of just going through every song and picking out an answer like that Bob does. Um, now, I spent a couple minutes on that. I want to go over to the same time licks. I don't really know what to call these. Just the har harmonic counterpoint at the same time. So when you have first one that comes to mind is like. Uh, Cassidy. Bob's doing that line on the G string. But Jerry's doing. So when they do it all together, Bob says. They're doing it at the same time. But it's two different licks. One's got the run on the on the seven and the and the one one seven one seven six five six seven six five four three jerry's got the five four three two four three two 
three, one. So they're kind of, they're missing in the same key. It's just one's got the top of the key, one's got the bottom of the key, but this time they're doing it at the same time. The next one that comes to mind, Terrapin. When you go Terrapin, I can't gonna go Terrapin, I can't figure out. see how it's they're making it a dyad solo dyad is when you have a triad is three a dyad is two so they have the D and the G string going together as you can kind of do it as a dyad chord but Jerry's got the Bob's got the so it's kind of like they each got their own string together it's gonna be almost the exact same thing. That's Jerry. Bob's gonna be. See how they're kind of, they're not doing the same lick ever. It's very rare. Bob's got one, Jerry's got the other. Even Phil maybe has his own, you know? While Jerry's gone. String below it. So kind of just take those two together. See how it's kind of a dyad solo again? But they're giving each other the respect to where, all right, you take the five or the E, I'll take the one. And we'll just go off that, same lick. So there's, there's a handful of them. I just kind of wanted to give you a grasp on maybe why, you know? Jerry's doing one weird thing for a reason. Bob's thinking, hmm, how can I, how can I accent that? on something different. I'm gonna just go with string below it. I'm gonna take the five. A lot of the time, Bob takes the three, the four, the five, the six, or the seven. A lot of the time. Um, he likes to mess around with his four. And this is just applying to not even really the licks that you're doing with Jerry or your lead guy. <clears throat> just applies to any any trick you're doing really um let's pick a random song rainbow on rose just like jack and rip five right there mama told the sailor Right there's a little two to three. He does that a lot too, the sus two to the major third. That's one of his favorite ones. I think of uh So he does this he does this trick a lot. I've just reverted to doing that rag because it's the one that comes to mind. If you want to if he wants to emphasize the major third, this certain version, the C shape of the of move up to G, go down, go down. Does this it's on the C, but you have to put your pinky on the top.
sus2 major third on the c same thing on the g going into d and the g shape and the c shape g that's a major sus2 to major third seven to nine on the d string on the c it's on the g string Add your pinky on the C note, major third, major third of the D. So if you want to emphasize, he does certain inversions. If you're emphasizing the major third, you want to do this inversion with the major third on top. So there's he, there's reasons why he's doing stuff, you know, and I'll point that out more when I'm doing my videos on the songs point out hey here's here's one of those sus two to major third licks you know so i kind of want to just give you an idea on i'm not just randomly picking out stuff i'm making educational guesses as well because once you kind of start to get into the bob realm you start to make educational guesses most of them are right he's got a little world he's in you know so i appreciate you tuning in and uh more to come with this bad boy